Before I start this video, I want to make this clear. I have a career with 11 years of experience. I am a sterile processing technician for the operating room. I'm in surgical services. I take surgery very serious. That being said, My opinion is unpopular. Don't care to be popular. I just don't look at things from the surface. I really try to psychoanalyze and try to look things deeper than just what we see visually. I like to speak from different perspectives. I wasn't going to react to this video because I have not reacted to Young Easy vlogs in a long time. It's been four months, but this video is important and my last live, there was a couple comments bringing the video up. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and react to it. Young Easy Vlogs uploaded a video called I'm getting my breast removed? Pray for me. I've always known that Easy has had issues with her big breasts and they are big. And especially when you gain weight, they do become bigger and they do become uncomfortable and they're heavy. So you will have back problems and so on and so forth. And not only that, it is also hard and difficult to find clothing that will fit you right because of your breasts. So I understand where she's coming from with this and whatever makes her happy, girl, do your thing, do your thing. But I'll get more deeper into that. But I do wanna start with talking about the thumbnail and the title. As you can see in the thumbnail, she has surgery on there, the needle, and a little, a little worried face. And in her eyes, you can tell she's been crying. Now, this thumbnail looks realistic. It looks like real emotion. Obviously, she's worried. Who wouldn't be? What bothers me is this title. I'm getting my breast removed? Exclamation mark, question mark. The problem with this title is the fact that it's clickbait. You don't have to use clickbait on something serious as surgery. People are going to click onto it no matter what. If people care about you and they worry about you, they wanna watch what's happening and they wanna follow your journey. To put breast removed, not only is it clickbait, but it's also offensive to a lot of people. People who have breast cancer actually get their breast removed, not voluntarily, not by choice, but because it's life-threatening, which is why a lot of people with breast cancer can find this offensive. By the end of the day, Easy's choice is cosmetic surgery. It is not life-threatening. And this title can also be offensive to the LGBTQ community, especially with the trans community. A lot of transgenders, women to man, also choose cosmetic surgery to get their breasts removed during the transition process. And a lot of them struggle with depression because they cannot afford a surgery like that. So when Easy puts the title, I'm getting my breasts removed, it's very offensive. And she needs to be careful with her titling during her journey. She could have just put what it was. I'm getting a breast reduction or I'm getting breast surgery. So now that I said what I had to say about the thumbnail on the title, we're gonna go ahead and move on and keep that separated from the video itself. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. Oh my God. Y'all, what I'm about to tell you is really about to change my life and y'all lives watching. This is some crazy news that I really wanted to share. And you know, I haven't been on my channel in a really long time due to me being creatively like blocked because I'm an actress, uh, I'm a comedian. Sometimes I wanna do vlogs, sometimes I wanna do skits. It's just like also all over the place. I get you girl. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I get but you. This news right now, I had to share it. I had to post this moment. Just give you guys a little bit of backstory. If you guys don't know, I have struggled with my weight for quite some time. I know on camera, it might come off to you guys as comedic because I'm always joking about it but internally and off camera I really struggled with the way I looked and how much weight I gained it was and a lot of comedians do that the insecurities that they have about themselves they joke about it's only to make light of the situation but this is real life this is real shit and she's struggling with it y'all I think my mental, it was affecting the way I talked to people, the way I acted, my hormones. What's that feeling in you when you like your sex drive is super low? Like it was affecting all of that. Up until I did this raw vegan cleanse. And I honestly just want to literally just say shout out to one of my new friends, Nadej. She got me doing this and she got Natalie doing it. And I think this was something life changing for me. I never that? thought that I would be able to do raw vegan this long, but I did and I accomplished it, okay? And I'm getting somewhere with that guys so with that little bit of backstory i struggled with my weight for so long and this was the only thing that literally hit 
Like y'all know, if you've been following me on Instagram, y'all know, I joked about this cleanse. I was like, y'all, there's no way I could finish it on day three and it was a 10 day cleanse. Like just eating raw food, all I know is cooked food. I know meat, so to, to eat, <laughs> only vegetables and then let alone i can't even eat anything cooked it was mind-boggling but once i got past that hump it was like that's all i wanted to do and for me to love fried chicken y'all know i love <laughs> fried chicken that was mind -boggling. Ooh, and i think this for is you, the girl. best i've looked in a really long time it's like i haven't seen my jaw and my neck like you know what i'm saying a really long time i'm still in the process <laughs> of losing weight and that's the thing too you can lose as much weight as possible, but having big breasts is not going to show it. I'm seeing her right now, and I don't see it, and it's because of her breasts. I'm glad that she did point things out, her neck and everything like that. It does show that she lost weight, and that's an accomplishment in itself, so congratulations, girl. But that's not the big news. This was all leading up to the big news, guys. Um, uh, God, I didn't think I was going to get emotional, so I haven't been wanting surgery uh for a really long time <sighs> some real shit real emotion i have been wanting real life this is the type of videos i like to react to this type of shit right here i know i'm a little bit behind but after i watch this video let me know if you want me to follow her journey if not let me know that comment below guys surgery for a really long time and a lot of things were stopping me from getting this surgery especially my weight because i knew that if i didn't lose weight that the surgery would possibly not turn out the way i wanted to so uh you know uh i am finally getting surgery and um uh, this is like this is like this is such an amazing thing for me because my entire life, uh, my mom struggled with it, uh, my aunt, you know, I have really big breasts and um, I'm finally getting a breast reduction and I'm leaving for Miami literally in a few hours. Um, I've been talking to so many doctors, different moments, different time, and good, it's good. finally happening. I'm so excited because it's like, you know, I've always had like a hunt. I don't know if you guys can tell, I always am trying to fix my posture. I'm always trying to like make sure my posture is good, but it's because my boobs They're are so, so heavy. freaking heavy. I don't got that breast problem. I just don't sit right because I'm being lazy. I need to start fixing my posture because I'm gonna end up with a hunchback when I get older and I don't want that. I am a double D right now and you know, I really want- Okay, so she says she's a double D. She could be bigger unless she actually went to the doctor and they did check her size. A lot of women wear the wrong size bra. We believe we're wearing the correct one, but if you actually get fitted for your breasts, you might be one size larger. Maybe two guys. Into a B cup, but you can't promise anything. My mom, she was a, I think she was a, a G. Now she's a B, a D and a C. So okay. I'm just super she had a excited reduction. that I'm gonna uh, get this surgery. The doctor that I'm going to, he's in Miami. His name is Dr. Williams. He did some Morella's uh, breast reduction, and I was just like, yo, like I wonder if he could do it. I talked to so many freaking doctors, bro. Since high school, man, I wanted this surgery, and it's finally happening. So I'm super excited to announce that I'm getting breast reduction. Um, right, it's yeah. happening this week and I kind of wanted to take so, you guys along for the journey. I'm sorry. It's just these are happy tears. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be a thug <laughs> and not let them fall. But this is something that is so close to my heart. And the only thing that was actually stopping me was my weight. But a huge factor that was stopping me is that I wanted to bear a child. I wanted to have my own children, you know, and I didn't want to risk me not being able to breastfeed. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really until like Natalie, like over the years, she was just like, yo, like you gotta be selfish like live for you now you know what i'm saying like that's true girl, because make... there's other options i know you want to breastfeed your child but there's other options you need to be happy for your child if you ain't happy your baby's gonna feel that energy so good for you great advice from natalie you happy freaking go for it and i was just like yeah i don't know like you know i just want to be able to naturally breastfeed and what if i can't you know and she's just like just do it i was like well no i want to wait till i'm the perfect weight size because then then i can be able to tell exactly what size my boobs are because when i gain weight my boobs gain weight you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. i've lost the weight and i'm finally getting surgery i'm nervous i don't know what could happen you know there's always a what if you know what i'm saying but I can't believe it's happening. Let me know too in the comments, like if you guys, if 
anybody else deals with having really big breasts and wants a breast reduction, watch this video or recommend it to a friend because I'm, I'm gonna be documenting the entire process and what's gonna be happening and stuff like that. I am. I've been good. I am very happy that she's gonna document it because she could very much do this privately, go through it with her close friends, her family, and then show us the ending result. Her documenting this, not only is it for herself, because she will have the support of many people, but it also helps others who are going through the same struggle. For them to see how it works, um, you'll be able to educate them, you'll be able to inform them, so that helps. And if you, if you can help yourself and you have the opportunity to help other people, do it. So good for you, girl. That's for a really long time when it comes to my weight and, you know, I think I'm going to be happy. I think I'm going to have a better posture. I'm just going to be bright and just more motivated and stuff like that. So I'm about to head to the um, airport. Like, I'm just super excited to you guys. I just feel like I'm just rambling at this point. If you guys want to support this journey, just please subscribe to this account. Follow me on Instagram. Spam the likes. Spam the comments. You got to go to the airport. Yo, so I made it to the airport. All right. Yeah. She's on her way, y'all. She's, She's on her She's way. Rocking the jewelry too at the same time. Okay. Gotta look fly when you're on your way. <laughs> Gotta feel good. And I made it to my yummy. Guys, yo, I'm here. I can't believe it's official. I'm going to. And the, the awesome thing about having money, because money can be important in certain things. She can choose what doctor she wants to go to. When you don't got it like that, you really ain't got no choice. You gotta take what they have <laughs> if you really want it. This is definitely a blessing. Breast reduction, like, it's happening. I'm getting this surgery and I've been waiting so freaking long, bro. I'm in Miami and uh, my surgery isn't actually until a few days, but I literally wanted to, you know, mentally prepare. I didn't want to just hop on a flight and then go get the surgery. I just wanted to prepare for this. See a few people, you know what I'm saying, turn up a little bit with these big ass titties. I don't know <laughs> what it's like before. They gone. You feel me? It's raining Take in Miami right now. Take pictures before and after. Hot. In like 20 minutes, the sun finna be out. You know what I'm saying? But wish me luck, guys. If you guys have any prayers, tips, advice leave it in the comments below right now hold on hold on you guys are literally watching this in real time like like today is monday it's monday it's literally <laughs> monday i'm in my i know i'm days behind oh. guys i know i know i wasn't gonna do it until people were commenting so i was like fuck yeah i'll do it it goes on and on and on all her old Vine videos of showing her breasts. We all know how big her breasts are, okay? Congratulations on your journey, girl. You're finally doing it. You've been waiting for so long and it's about to happen. Well, actually, in real time, it just happened. You'll get through the process, girl, and then once everything is said and done, you're gonna be a happy ass person. Congratulations. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.